This is a WTVD 11 News update. Good evening, I'm Claire Castle DeMont. Coming up on WTVD 11 News Night, watch a huge fire in Duplin County tonight destroys a food warehouse. A WTVD 11 News crew is on the scene. We'll bring you the latest. The polls open in less than 48 hours. We'll tell you how the candidates shape up heading into Super Tuesday. And consumers are casting their ballots in the grocery store war. Catherine Walters will tell you about the candidates in this campaign. Now this. Dolls that pray, Bible teddy bears. Are Christian toys a good idea? Next time, Monday morning at 9. All tonight's news, the AccuWeather forecast and sports coming up on Nightwatch. On our next show, Families of the Mentally Ill. Now we continue with Long Arm. ABC's Olympic Diary is brought to you by Chrysler. In pairs figure skating, Jill Watson and Peter Opegaard seem like an unusual duo. He jumps left-footed and she with her right, but they make this obstacle work to their advantage. Skating together as a pair for only three and a half years, they won the bronze medal for the U.S. in Calgary. Who has the highest customer satisfaction of any American car company? Who else? At Chrysler, we do it right. Jill Watson and Peter Opegaard's bronze in pair skating was the first medal awarded to the U.S. in Calgary. He rode out of the mountains to answer their prayers. Who are you? Some call him preacher. The Lord certainly does work in mysterious ways. Some call him gunfighter. Man, I'm thinking about his dead. Next Sunday, Clint Eastwood is the Pale Rider. Long Arm, tonight's ABC Sunday Night Movie will continue in a moment. How y'all are? You know what this flat old data chip is, huh? This is just a way for pulling up you hungry spot, that's all. But this is a Ruffles potato chip. Oh, yeah, Ruffles got ridges. And they taste so good. Oh, man, they don't just pull your hungry spot, no. They make you have your enjoys all the way plum. I guarantee. Ruffles brand potato chips. The taste won't leave you flat. Watch me get a big enjoy with this one. Oh, man. Mom, listen. Well, of course you hardly hear anything. It's my new Whirlpool dishwasher. Cleans a grate and it's so quiet. Mom, what's all that noise? Oh, it's your dishwasher. Whirlpool. Everybody box it in. Come on, Jason. Where am I supposed to sit? Aren't you glad you used dial? I'm don't you wish everybody did? Seven hours of this music. Seven, seven hours? This whole situation's running me ragged. I just found out I can't add any phones onto my new phone system. So now I've got four real estate agents working off the same desk on the same phone. I hate to think how much business I'm losing. Hi, I'm Charles Gibson. This week, Lauren Bacall talks about her TV special in memory of Humphrey Bogart. Plus a visit with Charles Bronson and Rob Lowe on Good Morning America. Bush won South Carolina, but Dole is still tough. And on Super Tuesday, the closest thing to a national primary. We hope you'll join us for the results. This is Jed Duval. The candidates make the final push for Super Tuesday. Tomorrow on World News This Morning, before Good Morning America. Tuesday is Super Tuesday. Join Peter Jennings, David Brinkley, and the people of ABC News for complete primary coverage. Watch the weekend report tonight on most of these ABC stations. This is ABC. 
Good evening, I'm Claire Cassidemont. Coming up on WTV, the 11 News Night Watch, the Duplin County town of Faison is the site of a huge warehouse fire tonight. Firefighters have been battling this blaze for hours. Get set for one final blitz as the countdown to Super Tuesday ticks into the final hours. We'll tell you how the candidates are faring. And get your checkbook ready. A grocery store war may be brewing here in the heart of Carolina. Plus, Dwayne Ballin with highlights of two very dandy basketball games. WTVD 11 News Night Watch is next. There's one dog food people lean on more than any other. Dear Oprah, it's all your fault. I've lost 121 pounds, and it's all because of you. <laughs> be careful. Your audience is getting smaller. Because of me? Girlfriend, I have been there. I'm still there fighting this everlasting battle of my thighs, but I'm glad you won it. Oprah Winfrey. She doesn't just speak her mind. She opens her heart. Keep off the good work, Oprah. 